Okay guys, welcome back to MoGraphLess.com. In this lesson, we learn how to approach creating transparent materials like uh, glass, water, colored glass, frosted glass, and let's create some. So create a new Maxwell material, and let's name this body clear glass. So clear glass. Okay, open it up using your MXED. change the preview scene obviously in order to create a transparent or glass like material the first thing you need to do is to change your transmittance color so let's make it a much more brighter while you if you want to have a clear glass also I'm going to make my reflectance 0 and 90 colors a bit darker version of what they are right now so something like this and the next thing is your attenuation obviously change it to centimeter and go to maybe something like 3, 5, 10, 20 uh, the more clearer you want the glass to be uh, the more you can increase the attenuation but for most household glasses something like 3 or 4, 5, 2 would work so let me go to something like maybe 3 or 4 here and for your index of refraction, let's go to something like 1.51 and turn on force Fresnel. And obviously now we need to decrease our roughness. Let's go to something like 1 or 2. Let's just update this and see what we get. So that's our clear glass. Let me just close it and save it. And let's apply it to... Let me just update this preview here too. Apply it to my glass here and let's just get back a bit and just make sure our focus distance is right I also notice in my scene here I've actually increased the F sub to something like 25 I can go ahead and go to 22 or I can simply add a, a Maxwell camera tag and change the camera length, length to be a pinhole length and this way we get rid of depth of field but I've increased f sub so we don't have a lot of depth of field going on here and let's uh, go ahead and start our fire and see what's gonna happen so here is our result as you can see even though we have a clear glass but we still feel a bit blurriness here and uh, the reason uh, there are two reasons first of all we have a, a roughness of two which I think uh, is a natural number even one would be better for a very clear glass or we can reduce this value to zero to have a, a more perfect glass another reason is even though we have increased our f step we still have some depth of field going on because this object is very small it's like 10 20 centimeters here so we can do a few things first of all we can go ahead and actually increase uh, decrease our roughness so let me open this material using my mxed and uh, change my roughness to zero and another thing we can do is to apply a camera tag to this uh, camera that we are looking through right now so I'm going to right click Maxwell tag and select this camera tag this is a Maxwell camera tag and if I select it you can see we have this lens right now it's thin I'm going to change it to pinhole so what this pinhole does it basically removes depth of field out of your render which is really useful if you want to add depth of field in your post or if you just uh, want to experience with different materials and you want to get a very clear sense of what they're going to look like so it is a pinhole and make sure your exposure volume matches the exposure value that you have in your scene which is 14 and here is 14 okay that's great now let's go ahead and actually render it again and hopefully this time we're going to get a more clear glass and also uh, if I wanted to I can go ahead and maybe increase my attenuation to get a clear glass let me go ahead and actually increase it all times like 20 and if I wanted to I can still increase and make my uh, transmittance color more bright so here it is I'm just going to save this material and start my fire again and see what's gonna happen so here is our clear glass and as you can see this time is much more better than what we had before let's create a colored version of this glass here let's open it up and let's change the name to colored glass obviously okay let's open it up using our MXED 
And as you know, in order to create a colored glass, you just need to change the transmittance color. Let's go to maybe a blue color like this. Hit OK. And let's change our preview scene, update it and see what we get here. Okay. Let me just save this and see how this is going to look like on our material. Refresh the preview here too. And let's apply it to our glass here. And refresh. There we go, as you can see here is our colored glass. Now, if I wanted to make this color a bit more obvious, I can simply go to my BSDF and decrease my attenuation or make my color more saturated and more bright. So for example, if I go to something like this and hit OK and wait for the refresh here on our fire, now as you can see, the color is much more vivid and is much more obvious. And also I can go ahead and actually decrease my attenuation. Let's go to something like, for example, uh, 3 here and wait for the refresh. And as you can see now, the color is much more dominant and you can obviously see it. And it has its own uses for a very specific type of glasses. But here, what you can do in order to create a basically colored version of your glass. Let me just go ahead and increase this value to what we had before. Let me put something like 15 maybe here and wait for the refresh. There we go, here is our subtle color going on. Let me just uh, wait for it to be a bit more clear and I get back to you after that. There we go, here is our nice colored glass. Let's create a frosted glass. I'm just going to duplicate my clear glass, open it up and change the name here to frosted glass. Save it and open it using MXCD. In order to create, um, obviously, a frosted glass, the only thing you need to change is your roughness. So increase your roughness. Let's go to something maybe like 20 here and update it. And there we go. Here is your frosted glass. Let me just save it and just update the preview here too. Apply to our glass here and let's refresh the fire. So here is our frost glass material and definitely there is some noise going on and we need to let the render go for a while to clear them. Another type of glass would be a clear glass with a floral frosted pattern on top. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. I'm just going to uh, maybe duplicate this uh, frosted glass and let's uh, change the name to frosted glass with pattern maybe or clear frosted glass clear glass with let's see with frosted pattern maybe frosted floral pattern here would be open it using MXCD and in order to create such a material we have this layer which is our frosted layer we do need to have a clear version of this glass. So let's duplicate this and the clear version would be below. So let's change the name to clear and let's reduce our roughness to zero. And just to make the effect much more obvious, I'm going to increase my roughness to something like 60 here. And now the only thing you need to do is to define uh, the pattern that you want in your opacity mask of your frosted pattern. So let's do that. Let's use this pattern here, open and hit OK. Let's update our preview here. And this is the result that we are having here. Now, this is one way of creating it using layers. And I can save this. Let's duplicate this and open it up. Let's name it with one layer. Now you can create the same effect obviously just using one layer. I'm going to open up my MXED and let's maybe delete this clear glass here and go to our frosted layer. Let me just update my preview 
and make sure we don't have any pattern here and let's update it again so that's what we have I can use the same pattern that I used in my opacity mask in my uh, roughness so let's simply drag this to the roughness parameter and let's update it and see what we get so as you can see the exact same result this time we just use the roughness a map uh, here so where the picture is white we are getting this uh, rough frosted pattern and where the texture is uh, black we're getting this uh, clear smooth uh, type now this is uh, the other way uh, the first uh, way that I showed you maybe it's a bit more flexible and versatile and you can do a lot more with it you can have different colors for your uh, clear or rough uh, glass or frosted glass and uh, it's up to you uh, the way you feel comfortable so let me just go ahead and actually save this and I'm just going to apply the first version even though they doesn't really uh, differ at the moment they are ex the exact same thing so I'm just going to apply it and actually I'm going to apply this to the second glass that I have let me turn on this and turn off my first glass and let's make sure we have a nice pattern I'm just going to this cylindrical and let's go to something like maybe 15 length we let's go to maybe 25 maybe 10 that's not too bad and let's start fire and see what's gonna happen So that's about uh, different type of glass and obviously if you wanted to create a water material you only need to change the uh, ND which for water is 1.33 and you're gonna have a nice water material and if you wanted to add a color to your water you can simply change your transmittance color and maybe add a displacement map to your material uh, if you want to add some noise and turbulence on top of your water. So that's about different type of transparent materials and see you in the next lesson. Stay tuned with MoGraphPlus.com. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. It was a free sample from our comprehensive introduction to Maxwell Render for Cinema 4D course. Make sure to visit our website MoGraphPlus.com and check the entire course out.